I think all the gangster rappers should go to the best bank in Gaza. They're gonna see the, the true OGs over there. Some fucking racist people hate my people. What I'm gonna say is, I love you. Last night I hit up a showcase of local rappers in Tel Aviv and this guy called Saz rocked up to the stage in the traditional Palestinian kofiya and everyone went fucking nuts. Seems like he's quite the character and whilst he's proud of his Palestinian heritage, it's not the absolute focus of his message as he has another goal in mind. You are the first Palestinian Arab Middle East sex symbol. Sex symbol. Because he was telling me sometimes we call girls ducks, sometimes we call them camels. And I was like, man, duck? That's a dirty bird, a duck. Like, for me, like a hot girl swan. And he was like, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we do say swan. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm like, nah, man. We now, love animals. From here on in, like, I want everyone to know that Mike Skinner invented the Arabic term for hot girl swan. What, what, what would that be? Was it? 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 Was I think it was Tupac to get his story out and what's going on yeah. over there. A lot of people got into rap through Tupac, but particularly out here, he seems to be the one that wherever you're from, Tupac's the guy that sort of, maybe it's an age thing. Everybody who like hears Tupac lyrics or music, easily we feel like so much in common with him. We feel like, oh, this guy is struggle. struggling. It's like my, my struggle. That's the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling that he's talking about my life. If you're coming from the outside, you wouldn't expect a Palestinian to rock up on stage in Tel Aviv in a kafir. I know that having the kafir in Tel Aviv, it's not that natural, but I think one thing that people should know, I'm not a foreigner or I'm not an immigrant. This is my heritage, this is my culture, this is my thing. In hip hop, you say, keep it real. I'm trying, I'm not trying, I'm keeping it real. Yeah. The kafir is part of my personality and history, yeah. but yeah. it's not the main thing. It's yeah. part of me, of size. What do you think, what's happening with the rap scene? There's two different rap scenes. If you're asking me about the Arabic rap scene, yeah. I think that Tamir Nafar and Dam are like number one, they, they started it. And there's another band from Yaffa called System Ali. But seriously, to be an artist or a musician in Palestine and Israel, it's kind of impossible to make it. Yeah. You, it's better to be a lawyer than to be a musician and an artist, honestly. But if you're talking about the Israeli market or Israeli scene, it's different. So this big lad you might remember from that shawarma shawarma falafel falafel track that the Jigga Juice lads were all over. That track I found quite funny. This one, on the other hand, I'm struggling to see the humour in. It was that other guy, the, the sort of the, the fat the, guy, the big guy. He was like, "I'm black, I'm black." Yeah, because that's an anthem, right? It's an anthem of his. Yeah, it's his anthem. But he's kind of because if sarcastic. I did a tune saying I'm black, I don't think I'd ever work again. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Israel, they have this weird sense of humour. Yeah. But he's making it as a joke. He's not serious yeah. about but it. But his PlayStation chain was super PlayStation hot. PlayStation chain, yeah, super, super hot. hot. Yeah. Because he's, he's singing about him being rich, because he's really rich. Okay. He's saying, okay. I'm coming from a rich family, got money, got bitches and PlayStation. Okay. That's his yeah. Struggle, thing. struggle. Nouvelle cool. struggle. Cool. Nouvelle struggle. Yeah, yeah, I know. We like have different perspectives, but we still have one love and one thing called music and hip-hop. Yeah. As an artist, as a musician, who been you know, suffering from racism and discrimination, I can't hate or discriminate somebody else. Hello, Khadur! 
منور خضور This is the pimp of the of the hut. Picture this the pimp. He's the pimp of the hut. If you talk about Hugh Hefner, yeah. this is the Hugh Hefner of the hut. He's the Hugh Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner, yeah. As white Westerners, we come here with ideals because we live in countries where we're kind of safe, not yeah, safe, normal life. And, and, you know, and we have all these ideals, and we probably think it's quite Hollywood. Yeah. You come here, and it's just like complicated. Yeah. We still have problems, of course. I'm not going to lie to you, but. People are like people, no matter what. And as much as we have a lot of differences, yeah. we still have a lot of in common, yeah. you know? Like people over here do want to have a normal life, have two or three kids, decent yeah. job, eat, sleep, yeah. just go around, fool around, just having fun. Yeah. And that's what mainly people in Palestine and Israel wants. Sadly, we're trying to, of course, to end the occupation. Yeah. And the occupation not just for the Palestinians, even yeah. for the Israelis. Yeah. I'm talking about not the physical occupation, it's about yeah. the mental thing. Yeah. That's the stress that we have. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to get over. Because I think, not just for the Palestinian cause, I think for the human being cause, yeah. we need to make a change right now, right away. Because 100 miles away from here, unless in Syria and Iraq, people are dying. Like, What's going on around us is just amazing, it's just crazy. Americans, they're the coolest rappers, right? They own rap, they invented it. You know, they, they talk about the struggle. But do you ever think like, okay, you're a really good rapper, but you don't know struggle, mate? Exactly. I think all the gangster rappers should go to the West Bank in Gaza and then they're gonna say, they're gonna see the, the true OGs over there. Yeah. The only gangsters that I know in my hood are dead or behind bars. That's the gangsters that I know. No gangsta is rapping about it. I got guns, I got ladies. Come on, man, you don't flash it, you don't flash it. <laughs> you are a famous guy, man. That's a problem You're that a we star. walk on. No, I'm not a star, the stars is on the sky. I feel a bit bad. Not one guy, <laughs> not one of these guys knows who I am and, and my struggle. <laughs> what is your struggle? No, no. Fucking getting... Yeah, you know yeah. what my struggle is, right? Yeah. I DJ now, mainly. Yeah. My struggle is going to nightclubs, yeah? yeah? And people being like, you're the guy who does drugs, <laughs> yeah? Come on, <laughs> that's my struggle. People give me drugs, yeah? You're killing me, Fuck's man. Sake, you're man. killing me, man. How can yeah. I live? Yeah, I don't think he was genuinely appreciating my struggle, but maybe I was verging on belittling his entire heritage. Seeing Saz in his element, though, as a kind of celebrity, as an Arab in a majority Jewish town, was a real eye-opener. Whereas Tamir, for example, chooses to separate himself from the Israeli scene and supports the boycott of Israel by foreign artists, Saz chooses to go into Tel Aviv, play to any crowd and show his pride for his culture. Listen, the kissing, it's, it's fine. Like, it's no. fine. No, 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 no. I'm not no. going like, to give you three people, kisses. Sorry, man. Okay, there's things we don't understand, you know, but, but I, the kissing, I, I've seen the kissing on telly and shit, so it's cool. Three kisses for a man, uh, two, kisses two for a woman, it's fine. You want me to kiss you three yeah, times? Come on, come on. It's like that. Yeah. One, two, three. I wasn't even a kiss, like, uh, it's, yeah, it's all good. No, I've seen that in films loads. Yeah, boy. Politics is in the blood of this country. No matter what your opinion is, how you look at it, you have to make a statement on what you see. Do you think you could get away with making like really like ratchet strip club music in, yeah. in J-Roo? There's a strip club here. Yeah? Yeah. It all goes down in J-Roo. There's nothing yeah. like I said. Make it rain. Biblical.